solve three to the two x plus three to the x minus two equals zero. Solution. So this is actually a quadratic equation in three to the x. And the reason I know that is because I've done problems kind of like this one in the past. Whenever you have something like this where you have a two x and an x and the bases are the same, you can write it as a quadratic equation. In fact, if you wanted to, you could write it as three to the x squared, right? That's because properties of exponents say that two times x is two x plus three to the x minus two equals zero. Now you don't really have to make a substitution to do this problem, but let's go ahead and do it just to add a little bit of clarity. So I'm gonna let u be equal to three to the x. So this becomes u squared plus u minus two equals zero. So you can always do this when you have these types of equations that turn into quadratics. Okay, this should factor. Let's try to do it. So we have parentheses u, parentheses u, and then this is equal to zero. So we need two numbers that multiply to two, so obviously one and two, but they have to multiply to negative two and add to positive one. So I'm thinking make the one negative and the two positive. Let's check that u times u is u squared. The inside piece here gives you two u. The outside piece gives you negative u. When you add the inside and the outside, two u plus negative u, you get one u, which is the middle piece. And two times negative one is negative two. So everything looks good. So from this, we set each piece equal to zero. u plus two equals zero, or u minus one equals zero. So u equals negative two, and then here u is equal to one. And so now we have to go back to our original variable, which is x. So u is equal to three to the x. So this is three to the x equals negative two, and this is three to the x equals one. So now we have to solve for x. So there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, but first realize that this first one here is impossible, right? That doesn't work, because three to the x is always positive. If you think about the graph of three to the x, it looks something like this. This is the graph of y equals three to the x. And you see that it's always greater than zero, right? This is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. So it's always above, you know, it's always up here, so it's always positive. So it can't be negative. So the only one we have to solve is this one. And to solve this one, you can guess, right? The answer is zero because three to the zero is one. Or if you like, you can take the natural log of both sides. When you do that, what you can do is now you can bring down the x. So you get x ln three, that's the power rule for logs. The natural log of one is zero. Then divide by the natural log of three zero over a non-zero number is zero so we get zero as the solution again another way is to look at it and say hey wait a minute x has to be zero because three to the zero is equal to one boom this is the solution